Reload again. Let's begin. So I absolutely wanted to talk about the um, alternate extra pages, whatever you want to call it, alternate ending of Demon Slayer. Because as everybody knows, the manga has been over for quite some, well, not like for years, but I think it just ended what last year or beginning of this year. I can't quite remember, but it's over. And then we just got the Demon Slayer movie that hit the U.S. recently, uh, the train to uh, Mugen. And... You know, Demon Slayer as is just at an all-time high. This thing has blown up. People, the animation is amazing in the series. Uh, the anime, the anime series itself is a really fantastic watch. Uh, but the manga has just been blowing, blowing up. It's been when it was on and it was happening. The last arc. I mean, this thing was kicking One Piece's ass when it comes to just selling copies it's insane it's one piece guys one piece um so i wanted to talk a little bit about my feelings on the alternate ending uh and yes i did somewhat enjoy the ending to demon slayer i know the mangaka uh mangaka i believe you call it they call it uh she kind of i i I think she stated that she rushed a little bit of the ending because that she had a family issue. She needed to go back. I think she came to the U.S. Uh, it was it was a little bit rushed, and it seems like a lot of times a lot of mangas are rushed when it comes to going towards the end, right? I mean, you had Naruto, you had uh, Bleach, you had <laughs> I guess you could say a little bit of Attack on Titan. So, but the ending was okay. We saw a lot of the descendants of Kanao. That's my favorite girl. Uh, you had uh, Tanjiro. You had Zenetsu, Nezuko, Inosuke. All their descendants. You saw a lot of the reincarnations that were happening. Like Rengoku. And I felt... I felt a little like kind of disappointed because I wanted to see like a proper ending to the characters we were following Tanjiro, Inosuke, Zenetsu, Nezuko. You know, I wanted to see them. It's cool to know that they had descendants and they kind of went to like the modern world uh, in that last chapter. But I wanted to see what happened to, you know, a our, our guys, what happened to our boys? What happened to our girls? Like, what, what, what's, what's up? What happened? I want to see them. I wanted to see a wedding. I want to see celebration. I wanted to see something. And this alternate ending, or it's, it's, I wouldn't even call it an alternate ending. It's an ending before the real ending. Was fantastic. It was so good. This is what I wanted, and I think a lot of people will agree. And a lot of reviews and a lot of people talking about this will uh, say the same thing. This is the proper ending we get the it, what you know i didn't get a wedding or anything like that but what i did get was uh, it's all about friendship in this series it's all about you know when tundro defeated uh muzan it took a team effort and we rooted for everybody all the characters that we were presented right we, we rooted for the people who passed so seeing them finally home and then seeing their family welcome their family welcoming them home from the other side was such a touching scene. It's all about right Nezuko and Tundro, their story. It's about their story. It's really like the Full Metal Alchemist kind of theme, and though that is usually one of the strongest things because what do we do in everyday life? We, if you're a lonely child, maybe, but you have friends, right? Friends would probably be as closest thing as like siblings. So we have as we grow. We have siblings too. It's the the family factor, right? It's the important person factor. And I think that's, it nails it so well when you have like a family dynamic like Nezuko and Tundro. So seeing this last kind of like, this is it, you know, from the manga, unless they do a sequel, but this is it for our, our characters that we've been following. It was such a great wrap up. I want to see Zenetsu's crazy faces and Inosuke's crazy outbursts. And I did get that. I got that. I got sweet moments in this uh, in this manga chapter, in this, these extra pages. Even, you know, you know, you want more. You, you, you really appreciate the fact that she 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 closed the door. She closed the door, the mangaka. And she did a hell of a job. This was a good, sweet ending. Uh, you see... You, you see all of them together at the house. 
laughing, cheerful, smiling, and you get that in the chapter. You, the, a lot of the line and lines and dialogue in here is like kind of it's about life. It's a it's giving you letting you know what life is all about, you know. And because with Tundro speaking, that's kind of like the 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 manga author telling you like her thoughts on everything. Uh, of course, I love the canal and uh, Tundro when we see him together with the snake having uh bo- you know embracing both of them uh of course in Natsu and Nezuko you love I love the, the the panel of her uh giving him rice I love Anos I love the fact fact that Anosuke does have descendants he hooked up with Ao I believe that's how how you say her name really awesome really great this this whole chapter is just such a great way for it to end right is such a great way for everything to wrap up. Uh, I'm I, the only thing I want is to see it animated. I want to see when the anime series is done. I want to see this all animated because it's a beautiful. You see the characters from uh, that are still living and how they're living, like you know, little glimpses of what they're doing. To know that we got a little bit more of our main heroes and to see how happy they were, how it's all over. And even to have, you know, Kano and Tundro's descendants say, like, I wish for the demons to to still live, you know, be forgiven for all they've done. And hopefully they have happiness. That's 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 Tundro, right? That's absolutely Tundro. Pillars, the reincarnation of them. Uh, and the two uh, for Nezuko to explain, you know, the burials to Nosuke. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful way to end everything. Um, this ending made Demon Slayer manga, in my eyes, it, it's it's like The Walking Dead, right? The Walking Dead had its bumps, especially kind of like the last of their art of his the arc that Robert Kirkman presented. Uh, there might be some disagreements on some the actual finale, but from beginning to middle to end. It was amazing. And the ending was satisfying. And he could even go beyond that satisfying. It was a really good ending. And masterpieces are not always perfect. The Mona Lisa is not perfect. Things were done and maybe the artists themselves regret maybe some of the decisions or it wasn't even supposed to end up like that. But we as the viewer and we as the public absolutely adore it. So with Demon Slayer and the original ending to it, that's a possibility. That's a like that's a that's that's understandable that they would want to try to do a sequel of how majorly successful this is. And it doesn't mean that they're going to do a sequel, but it's left a door open. And because of that ending, I was. I wasn't going to call it a masterpiece. I was going to call it a great series. But with the new kind of ending to it and the ending before that major ending and to get a little bit, get more, just a closure of the heroes that we were following and the beautiful message, the beautiful lines, uh, the beautiful panels. Demon Slayer, as the manga goes, and maybe uh, the anime series, I think the anime series even more so, is a masterpiece. And uh, in the days where it's the hardest thing to do to end something, just on a right note, what a hell of a job. So if you guys haven't read the last, uh, pretty much the last pages of Demon Slayer, the A.K. alternate ending of Demon Slayer, but it's the ending before the real ending. You can go to my link. I'll have it linked in my description box and you could click on it and read it yourself. And let me know your guys thoughts on just the overall ending. And do you agree with me? Is Demon Slayer a masterpiece? Now, don't get me wrong. People are going to go, you know, One Piece hasn't ended, but people are already going to say like, you know, there's other animes and manga out there that will they will consider as maybe uh, far superior than Demon Slayer. That's okay. I'm saying, I'm just saying Demon Slayer as just the media and just the story 
I'm not saying it's better than any one, anything other. Just Demon Slayer, to me, has done everything it needed to do, and it's a masterpiece. And saying it's something's a masterpiece doesn't mean another thing isn't. Because there's masterpieces all over the world. It's just how you view it. So, a masterpiece in my mind. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like the video. It will support this channel, keep us growing. And also, comment below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the new pages, the uh, ending before the ending of Demon Slayer. Do you agree? Is it a masterpiece? Or, it, or just overall, did you enjoy it? What was your favorite parts of the, the story? So, thank you guys. I'm Dan Amanaki, Daniel's son. And I will see you guys next time. You guys have a good